Hi, I'm Corey Ballard and welcome back to another Tech Talk. Today we are looking at routines or automation using Amazon Alexa. Thanks for joining us on another Tech Talk. If you're new here, we create videos on assistive technology. So if that's something that interests you, please subscribe to our channel, click that notification bell. We also do a live show on Thursdays. Check out the link in the description. You can learn more about that live show and check out our upcoming schedule. Recently on one of our live shows, we did a two-part series on smart home technology and the accessibility it can bring to people who are blind and visually impaired. We looked at how it can not only make your life more convenient, but it can also make things uh, and devices in your home more accessible. Now in that second part of the series, we came out to my home to look at a number of different smart home technologies, and we talked a lot about automations or routines. And so today's video is gonna talk about those routines in more depth, and we'll actually go ahead using the Amazon Alexa app. We're gonna create a routine today. Now, I primarily use an iPhone and use VoiceOver as my assistive technology screen reader. And I've also chosen to use Amazon Alexa or Amazon Echo as my smart home platform. So today's video, we will be using the Amazon Alexa app running on our iPhone using VoiceOver for, that, uh, for this demonstration. Let's take a look at our Amazon Alexa app. With Alexa button. We've got our Alexa app and open and across the bottom we have a number of tabs. We're looking for the more tab down in the bottom right corner. More tab five selected. We'll more go ahead and tab. double tap there. And now we have a number of options and we're looking for routines. Routines. We'll double tap. Routines. Back button. We now have a list of all of the routines that have been created already. I have a number of, of, of different routines here that do a number of different things. Now, if you've never created a routine, your list will be empty. But for today, we are looking to create a new or add a new routine. So we're gonna find the add new button in the top right corner. Add new button. There we go. We'll go ahead and double tap. Add new. Save disabled, dimmed button. We are now in the add new screen and there is a number of pieces of information that the app wants in order to create this routine. We're gonna swipe right through this screen and go through each option one at a time. New routine, heading. Enter routine name button. The first option we come to is enter routine name. This allows us to give the routine a name so that we can more uh, better understand what it is or organize them, come back to them in the future. Now, a quick little note, you could double tap here, go into the edit field and type out the name of your routine, or you can skip this step altogether. And when we go to the next step, creating the trigger, it'll actually create the name automatically for us. So let's skip over the name right now and swipe right to the next option. When this happens, X, you say Alexa, good morning. We have the uh, next option here says, when this happens, X. So this is the trigger or what is going to prompt the automation or routine to start. So we're gonna double tap here and take a look at what some of the triggers are and we'll go through them a little more in depth. When this happens, schedule button. All right, so let's make sure we skipped one voice here. Button. There we go. Our very first option for trigger here is voice. Voice means that we would double tap here and we would type in a phrase. And then whatever phrase we type in is the phrase that we would say to any of our Amazon Echoes which would then in turn trigger the automation that we're creating. So if you wanna just use your voice to uh, start an automation, you would choose voice, type in the phrase you want, and then move on to the next step. Let's take a look at some other uh, triggers that we'll swipe right. Schedule button. We have schedule. Schedule allows us to use either a specific time and day or sunrise and sunset to trigger our automation. For example, I have an automation or a routine set up at home that every day at sunset, my outside lights turn on. And I did that by choosing schedule, 
choosing the day and day, uh, choosing the days of the week I wanted, and then choosing sunset as my time. And so then it will trigger that event every day at sunset. You could choose sunrise or pick a specific time as well. Smart home. Button. Our next trigger is smart home. We're going to come back to this in a moment, but this is going to allow us to use smart home devices to turn uh, uh, to start our trigger. Location button. Location allows us to use the location of our phone so we can put in a specific address and every time our phone enters into that address using GPS, it would start the trigger or start the automation. Alarms button. So alarms is if the um, if you have an alarm in your house, uh, if you're using an alarm system like Ring or if you're using an, another alarm system, if an alarm goes off, it can trigger a routine. Echo button, button. Echo button is a third party device you can buy from Amazon. It's a small little button. When pressed, it would then trigger whatever routine or automation you're creating. Sound detection, public. And the last button. two here are sound detection and guard. What these are is Amazon Echo has a service for, it's called Guard. When it's turned on, basically all of the Amazon Echoes in your home can listen for specific sounds, barking dog, breaking glass, uh, if your smoke detector goes off. And if those echoes hear that sound, it can then trigger a specific automation that you've set up. Now we're gonna swipe back to the left and go to smart home, and that will be our trigger. Echo button, but alarms, but location, but smart home. So we'll choose smart home. Choose device. Now we have a choose a device hot, screen. Hot, hot. This will show you all of the smart home devices that you've added to your Amazon Alexa smart home. So you're gonna choose the device that you want to be your trigger. For example, we're gonna create a home automation that says every time my garage door, so not my big outside garage door, but the door that goes from my garage into my house, every time that opens, we want it to turn on the kitchen lights. So when you come in at night, it'll come on automatically for you. So what I want to do then is either swipe to the right and find that garage door device, or because I have so long, so many here, I'm just going to do a three finger swipe up and uh, kind of skip a little bit here because they're in alphabetical. Amelia on page two of basement lead detector. There we go. Now I'm just going to swipe right. Corey closet, basement door, front door, but garage back door, garage door into house. But there it is. My garage door into my house. We'll double tap. Garage door into house. When garage door into house closes. So now we have radio button. two choices here. It's saying when garage door opens or closes. So you can set up different routines depending on the status of that contact sensor. As if you may have checked out our previous smart home tech talk lives, we talked about different smart home devices, including contact sensors. These can be placed on doors and windows. There's usually two pieces to them. When the two pieces are together, then the door is considered closed. When they spread apart, then the door is considered open. So you can set up different automations that are triggered by if the door is open or closed. This example, we want it that the door is open. So we'll find the open button. When garage door into house closes, home, tab, when garage open, close, radio, oh, open, there it is. radio button. So we'll double yet. check and we're gonna open. double radio tap button. on check. open. Now I'll find the next button in the top right corner. When contact sensor, next button. There we go. Next disabled, dimmed, save button. All right, so now we've created the new routine so far, giving it its trigger when the garage door opens. Let's swipe right. We're back at kind of the top of the list. So we'll make our way past what we've already seen. New routine, heading, name, heading. Garage door into house, open, change, blank. Now you can see that it's automatically named it now when garage door into house opens. So that's why I said skip the naming convention because it'll actually just do it for you. Swipe right. Win, heading. And here's our win that we just did. Garage door into house, opens view slash edit. So it says when garage door opens, if we double tap here, we could change that if it happened to be that we wanted close or we picked the wrong trigger. We'll keep swiping right. Anytime, link. Here's a link that says anytime. This allows us to change when this routine happens. So let's say for example, that I, and this is probably a good example, I don't want this routine to work if there is daylight. Um, because there's no reason to have my kitchen lights come on automatically if there is a ready daylight. So I'm gonna double tap anytime here. And now we can change the condition. 
So I can change the day of the week. I'm gonna leave it for all days of the week, but now I'm gonna change the time frame of when this routine will work. I want it to work between 6 p.m. and 11 p.m. So what I'm gonna do is just swipe active here. Between heading. It says active between. 12 a.m. button. So we have 12 a.m. We're gonna double tap that to change it. 12, picker item. And we have a little picker item here. We're gonna change that to six. 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 48, 7, 6. There we go, swipe right. So there we go, six o'clock. PM, picker item. Set to PM already, good. 12 a.m. button. And now this next 12 a.m., that's the end time. So we'll double tap again there. 12, picker Swipe right, right. now we'll choose 50, that to 11. 11. 50, 000, 000, PM. Still right. set to PM, perfect. There's also a suppress for, just as a quick heads up, that means that you can tell it to, to run between 6 p.m. and 11 p.m., but then you can also say, if the door opens, and then it opens again within a specific time frame, let's say 10 minutes, then it won't run the routine again. So if I open up the door, close it, the lights go on, let's say I turn off the lights, and then within 10 minutes, someone opens the door again, if I put 10 minutes in the suppress field, then it won't trigger that uh, routine again. You can say, hey, I want you to wait this amount of time. I'm gonna find the next button in the top right corner. Active days every day, next button. There we go. Next. Every day, 6 p.m. 11 p.m. link. You can now see that instead of any time, it now says every day between 6 p.m. and 11 p.m. So if the door opens outside of that time frame, nothing will happen. I'll swipe right. Add action X. Now we have add action. Now this is the second part of the puzzle. We've already set when this happens between this time period, then do this, and that's what we're looking at now. So we're gonna double tap on add action. Add action, add new. And Remix. now we have a number of different things here, and they're very similar to the trigger field that we saw before. Alexa, it's gonna go Custom for more app, add new. Okay, so we have a couple things in here. Now, I'm probably not gonna go through all of them because there's a lot of them, and honestly, most of them people aren't gonna use, but I'll just briefly touch on some of the uh, most popular. Custom for more actions, type in what you would Custom for more actions allows you to customly, custom type in whatever you want to happen. So for example, let's say every time the garage door open, you wanted your um, Amazon Echo device to shuffle your Barry Manilow playlist. Uh, that's Luke's favorite uh, uh, artist. Uh, I wouldn't have that playlist, but he does. Please ignore this scandalous lie. It's well known that I will only listen to Kenny G. So you could double check, uh, double tap on the custom and then put in shuffle my Barry Manilow playlist and every time the door opens, it would then run that little phrase you just said, and obviously then it would play your and shuffle your Barry Manilow playlist. So that's what custom is. Smart home button. Smart home is what we're gonna do in a moment. That's gonna allow us to uh, uh, access some of those other smart home devices. Alexa says. We can just have Alexa say something. So let's say, for example, we wanted every time the garage door opened, we wanted to say garage door open, maybe for security, so you know when and when people are opening up your doors. You would tap Alexa says, and then type in whatever you want Alexa to say, and then when the door opens, it would then speak that phrase. Audible button. Audible, that's a, an audiobook service. Everything's button. Calendar button. And on, honestly, the rest of these are kind of uh, a little bit more, um, I don't want to say advanced, but things that you don't typically need. So you can always take a peek at those on your own, but let's go back to the smart home. Briefings, audible, Alexa said smart home. Because that's really what you're going to do most of the time. So we're going to choose smart, smart home. Smart home, lights, button. And now we have a couple of options here. We can say, we can look at all devices, button. All devices, just specifically lights. lights. Control group button. Or control group. Control scene button. There's also a control scene. Now, as we talked about in our Tech Talk Live, we talked about grouping things. So for example, all of the lights in my kitchen, and so I have maybe two or three, well, actually I think there's four or five smart lights in the kitchen. They're all grouped together in the kitchen group. So if I want the kitchen lights to come on, and I've, all and I've already added them to a group, well then I'm gonna choose 
choose the control group here rather than light because then I can just choose the kitchen group and it'll turn on all of the lights I've added to that room or group rather than going to lights and then having to choose each light separately. So we're gonna choose group. Control group button. Double tap. Select group. You're gonna see a list of all of the groups you've created in your uh, smart home. I'm gonna swipe and find kitchen. Cabinet, look, dining room, family room, front patio, garage, kitchen. Button. There it is, double tap. Kitchen. Now we lights. can do a Select couple all. things Radio here. Button. Not checked. Now it's showing me all of the lights that are in my kitchen. And I'm gonna do the select, select all, because I wanted to do all of those lights. Next. And we'll go to next. Kitchen. Brightness, button, power, button. Now we have a screen here that we can set specific parameters to those lights turning kitchen. on. Power, button. We have a power button, so that will, if we double tap here, power. now we can choose. On, switch button, on. Power on, or if I double tap, off. Now it would turn the lights off. So if you're turning them on, you want to make sure you do on. on. Brightness button. There's also a brightness button. If I want them to turn on, but I only want them to be on 50% so they're not so bright, you can tap brightness here and then adjust the slider to whatever you want, one to 100% to brightness. Set color button. You can, if your bulbs allow you to do different colors, you could tap here and set the color. Mine in my kitchen don't, so we're just gonna leave it be. So I've set it to turn on, so I'll go to next. Next button. Double tap. Next. Save button. And I've now created this first routine, but. Add action button. The add action button is still here. I can set a separate action if I want to and continue to add more and more actions to this routine. So if I want the lights to turn on and I want an Amazon Echo in the home to announce that the garage door is open, well, I've already set it up to turn the lights on in the kitchen, but I could tap add action, then I could tap Alexa says, and then type in what I want it to say. Save that, and then you can keep repeating and add as many different parameters to that routine as you, as you want. So you can have it do more than one thing at a time. In this example though, we're just doing one action. When the garage door opens, turn on the light. We've now have that set up. We have used our trigger as the garage door opening. We have set the time to be weekdays, uh, I'm sorry, all days, only between 6 p.m. and 11 p.m. We set up the action, which is turning on the kitchen lights or the kitchen group. And so we are now ready to save our routine. So we'll find save in the top right corner, double tap. Save, disable, routine created successfully. And now our routine routines. has been set up Add and new. added back to our list of all of our routines. So now, anytime I open up my garage door, my kitchen lights will automatically turn on. As you can see, Amazon automations and routines can be super powerful. Once you have a better understanding about the triggers and the actions, it makes it pretty easy to create these routines. Again, if you've not had a chance to check out our previous two Tech Talk Lives on smart homes and accessible homes, check those out. That'll make creating these routines a lot easier. It'll also save you a lot of headaches if you're trying to get into creating your own smart home. If you have any questions about any assistive technology devices at all, please feel free to contact us. Three ways you can do it. You can give us a call at 414-615-0103. You can shoot us an email in focus at vision-forward.org or check out us out online, vision-forward.org. Thanks, stay tuned.